Today, I want to show you the difference between a group channel track and an effects channel track in Cubase 9. Chris Selim here from Mixdown.online. Now, if this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, let's get into it. The difference between a group channel track and an effects channel track in Cubase. If you're new to Cubase, that can be a bit confusing, especially if you're used to a system like Pro Tools that only uses a Knox channel track to do the same thing as we do here in Cubase with the group and effects channel tracks. So why does Cubase has two different type of tracks to do the same as Pro Tools does with one? The answer is very simple. If we go back to old versions of Cubase, a group channel track was a bit different than an effects channel track as far as the routing goes. But now, you know, since they updated the versions quite a few times, um, you know, we now have the kind of same features from a group track to an effects channel track. So basically, they're about the same. First, I'm going to show you how I set those up in my session. And then I'll explain to you why I still think it's a good idea to keep them separate. But again, no big deal. So let's look at what I have here. So basically, this is a drum take on several tracks. And what I have here is a group track um, for my room mics. And same for my overhead. So all my, my two overheads tracks are routed directly into that stereo group track. So if I solo this track, it's going to solo all the tracks that are routed into this one. And same for this one. So you know, pretty basic. So let's say I want to, you know, send all of these tracks to a new bus, okay, uh, which I'm going to call a group track. I'm just going to click on the plus sign and select group channel track. I'm going to make sure it's a stereo track in my case, and I'm going to call it drums. Now uh, the output is going to master, and I'm going to create that outside the folder. Now, creating outside or inside the folder, the difference is very simple. I'm just going to go back. If I create it inside the folder, it's going to create a folder where all the group tracks will be inserted in. Okay, so let's uh, create that inside the folder. And there you go. There's that group track folder right here. Okay, I don't like doing so. So I'm just going to create it outside the folder. So that's one. Uh, one way of doing it, you just select your group track channel. And uh, again, I'm going to call it drums outside the folder. And it's going to go right below the selected track. And then, you know, just you can drag that anywhere you want. I'm going to put it right on top. Then what else? Oh, yeah, we, we just need to route the output of all the tracks I want to send to that um, that bus. Okay, so this one, the kick, can be sent to that uh, drums bus. Same for the other one. So I can, you know, go on, go on and on, or just you know select all of them uh, through the mix console, quick link them, and send them all in the same drum group track. Now that's one way of doing it. There's another way, a quicker way of doing so. You know, if I just go back here, I'm going to select all the tracks. Okay, I want to uh, I want to route into a new group, okay? And then I'm going to go to the Mix Console, right-click. I'm going to go down to Add a Group Channel to Select Channels. And there you go. I see the same window opening. I'm going to select a stereo. I'm going to name that track Drums. It's uh, going out to the Master, Fader, and Create Outside Folder. And there you go. I have my a group track, which includes everything that is on top of it. Okay, everything, all the tracks that I selected, basically. And that simple. From that point on, I can just, you know, do my stuff like I usually do with a bus channel so I can treat and work on the entire drum kit um, with compression, EQ, and so on. So that is the way of doing it with a group track. Now, if we look at the effects channel track, it's about the same thing. You just click on the plus sign right here. You select effects channel track. And there you go. You add yourself a new effects channel track. Now, the effects channel track, I'm going to use that for send effects. 
like reverb, delay, um, can be distortion, parallel processing like compression and stuff. I can use a, uh, an effects channel track if I want to, to use these effects. So anything that has to do with a send effect, I'm gonna use the effects channel track, that simple. So I'm gonna keep all the routing, routing all the tracks together within a bus to the group channel tracks and all the send effects to the effects channel track. Now, um, I'm gonna close that window and I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the group channel track. I'm gonna select you know, all the tracks I wanna send to an effect. So let's say I wanna send the kick, the snare, the tom, floor to a reverb, okay? I can just select all of these tracks and then I'm gonna go to the mix console, right click, go down, add effects channel to selected channels. I'm gonna call this one reverb. I'm gonna select a reverb. Let me select this one. And there you go, I have a reverb inserted into that new effects channel track right here. And the signal out of these selected tracks are sent into that reverb. So if we look here at the send section of the channel, you see the reverb right on top, listed right on top, and we see the drum group in the group tab. So this is what I like about that system. It makes things visually in order and very easy to work with. So if we, for example, I'm just gonna add like a bunch of effects channel tracks. Okay, let's create like seven. I don't need to name them. I'm not gonna load any plugins. It's just for the tutorial and I'm gonna load a bunch of group tracks right here. Same here, there you go. Now they have their own color, so it's very easy to identify within your, uh, your project, you know, whatever you're in the uh, project window or the mixed console, very easy to identify. You can customize the colors if you want by going into the preferences, appearance, colors, and track type right here. You have all the default colors. You can change these as uh, with the color you want. Okay, very simple. And uh, if we go back here, let's select one audio track, go into the send section. And if we look at the way it's displayed here, okay, in, the, uh, in that routing window, we have all of the effects on top, listed right on top, and all the groups within that group channel. Okay, now on paper, you could use only group channel tracks to do everything, to insert your reverbs, uh, delays, and all these effects and do the same as you would with an effects channel track. So if you want, you can do so. It doesn't matter much. You know, they both do the same thing. It's just visually easier, you know, just to, to identify them within your project, within the console and the uh, project window. And when it's time to route your track, it is again, very easy to, uh, uh, to select whatever needs to be selected here in the uh, routing window. So this is basically it guys. I hope that helps, especially if you're new to Cubase. Hopefully this will be a bit less confusing for you. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe if you're not already. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.